The question of uh, whether we can create America in the village still remains unanswered. Some people ask uh, whether we should even try. Now, if you had to ask me personally, I would say yes, we can absolutely create many of the comforts we have in America in the village, but with some limits. So in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about how we make this happen. This is the second part of a two-part series. And if you missed my first video, I ask you to go back and watch uh, the first uh, section that talks about 25 things that we are accustomed to in the Western world that when we get home, we look forward. In this video, I'm just going to do a follow-up talking about how these 25 uh, features of construction that we're used to can be created in the village. Welcome to the village again. Uh, for folks who are joining us for the first time, we are filming from right in the middle of Karateng, which is a small village centered in Kisumu in Western Kenya. As you watch this video, I hope you are able to watch it till the end. And if you find it interesting, I hope you will subscribe. But even if you don't subscribe today, I am just glad you're joining us today. So as I mentioned earlier, in this video, I'm just going to do a follow-up highlighting the 25 things that diaspora folks like that we can absolutely create when we move to the village. And so this video will be useful to diasporans or people who live in the city who are thinking about or building in the village or investors who are interested in constructing uh, property that would interest people who live in the village. Now, number one, I talked about uh, the issue of size. By all means, if you're building something that will attract diasporans, think about size. And I want you to look at the size of that stairs as I'm walking down. This is one of those things that we had to really expand at some point because they were going to build a very narrow uh, set of stairs. And so by all means, if you can build something big, and if you don't have space to build something big, there are certain features of a, of a building that can magnify the size of a house. Something such as the size of tiles. Please don't use anything less than a 60 by 60. The bigger the tiles, the more magnified the space looks like. And also something like uh, color. The white color really magnifies the uh, space. And so you have two options if you're building something that will attract diasporans. Either build something big or make sure that you're using features that magnify the size. Whenever possible, make sure you have office space. Uh, minimum of two living room areas, relatively large kitchen, garage, multiple bathrooms, walk-in closets, as best as you can fit it in. But like I said, if you can fit it in, make sure you're creating the impression that it is really big. Climate control. This is one of those things that people often think about too late. This is something if you're starting to build now, please factor it in even before you start constructing the foundation because the provisions for electricals and the ducting systems will need to be put in place way in advance. With AC, you have the system, you have the option of wall-mounted AC or the ones that have a central air system. Just make sure you have electrical outlets that will support either option that you pick. And of course, you can insert like uh, fireplaces uh, if you live in places like Nairobi, which can be cold. Roofing materials, you want to make sure that uh, you're thinking about materials that minimize heat. In Kenya, there's really good options for that. And also be sure, especially in places like uh, bedrooms, you can use vinyl uh, wood, I mean, vinyl uh, synthetic materials. You can use wood or carpeting. Now, the vinyls that I've seen in Kenya, it's hard to figure out which ones are legit. So I'd be careful selecting vinyl unless uh, I know what I'm doing. But at this point, I'm not too sure. Uh, be sure to use aluminum windows if you can. They are slightly a lot more expensive, but will, they will help you a lot with the climate control. And of course, avoid... Uh, uh, Kenyans like this thing about creating some kind of a space, either on the actual metal windows or a space somewhere on the wall that is quote-unquote meant for ventilation. Those things are very counterproductive if you're thinking about climate control. So avoid those things. And make sure that the people who are fixing windows for you know that because they will automatically create a window with some kind of a mesh somewhere for climate control. It doesn't work for the purpose that we're talking about. With the size of windows, you want to make sure that when they are building the walls, 
you actually verify that they have factored in the size you want. Oftentimes, they will simply ignore you and create windows that are not the size you want. Anytime you hear the word standard, know that that is a problem. So verify before they're done building walls that the windows are exactly what you want because they will always, always ignore you. With electrical works, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is something you want to pay attention to even before you start your foundation. Make sure you have enough outlets in every room. They are everywhere, including indoor and outdoor. In many cases, people forget the outdoor uh, electrical outlets. Be sure that that has been factored in and they've factored in provisions for CCTV so that you're not looping wires in the same holes that were meant for electrical, I mean, meant for electricity. So make sure that whenever they're doing the piping, they have factored in uh, wires for CCTV and cable if you ever need that. Now, back control, like I said, if you have aluminum windows, you have the option of sliding uh, uh, windows that have mesh in them that can help you control bugs. And then with instant uh, hot water, uh, here's what I learned. The traditional drum uh, solar hot water system that is mounted on the roof can be problematic in the sense that it doesn't give you instant hot water. And in fact, in many cases, you have to run the cold water for a little while before the hot water comes out. So there's an option for what they call solar heat pump. If you're interested, we can talk about that more in the comment section. This one is really good, slightly more expensive, but it works well with the instant hot water. Now, uh, the other option that you have would be electric uh, systems, which could be uh, a lot more expensive or may only be functional if you have uh, uh, a different battery system, not the typical battery system for solar. And then with clean drinking water, I know there are certain uh, systems, purifiers that people use at home. I don't know enough about them at this point to say much, but I would stay away from them. Simply use dispenser. Uh, up until I know more, I wouldn't be able to confidently recommend those. Skylights are not a very popular thing in Kenya, but you have options including using transparent iron sheets. Uh, for water and plumbing, make sure that your plumbing systems are, are hidden inside the walls. And this is something you want to check with your plumber uh, as they are constructing. Don't wait till late and then you see pipes popping up everywhere. Fire safety, make sure you have uh, water points all around your house. Uh, you have like taps or some water point at least in each side of the house things like smoke detector carbon monoxide detector you can just buy them from diaspora take them home be sure to have a sprinkler system which may or may not be necessary but i would recommend having a sprinkler system at home soundproofing i know with the slabs that's where you want to pay attention use hollow pot uh, if you can because they're better with sound aluminum windows are great and then seamless design, check at the stage of drawing. Don't, don't wait till they start contract, con constructing. That's when we begin to move rooms back and forth. Now with the kids play area, this is easy. Uh, as they're designing your house, make sure that they've left space for whatever you care for outside, whether it's entertainment or kids play area. And then that also includes uh, the gazebo, where if you choose to grill, pool and all that stuff, factor it in as they are drawing your house. Don't wait to figure out where these are going to fall when you're already constructed. Storage space, uh, you can always have a, a garage with cabinetry inside of them, but also create a space inside of the or next to the caretaker house. You can really create a, a nice hidden space right next to it or within it. Of course, with dishwasher, you want to be careful to make sure that the measurements are factored in when the kitchen folks are building your island or wherever you're going to push your put your dishwasher so that way your sink does not cover up space for your dishwasher and that's the problem that we're currently dealing with we did not take the actual measurement of the dishwasher we need so take that in advance and make sure that the person doing your kitchen factors in the size that you have chosen and then of course with proper furniture you will get them in kenya you don't have you i mean if you want you can ship them but there's really good furniture in kenya they just slightly more expensive than you would expect and then of course make sure you have provisions for both washer and dryer in many cases they often think about just provisions for washer only check and make sure you have, they have provisions for both and then uh, with the uh, refrigerator spaces they typically create enough space 
but you want to make sure that they have all the fridges you need including uh, freezers because many of us use both uh, free uh, free refrigerators and freezers aside so you want to make sure those spaces are factored in as they're doing the interior designs and then reliable power make sure you have provisions for solar and provisions for a generator you likely will not need both but just create the provisions in advance so that if you need it it's already there and you're not demolishing stuff and then of course with the smart locks you can just buy them from diaspora take them home they are probably cheaper that way but you can still find them in kenya as well because i've seen folks with all kinds of smart doors both locally i don't know much about their quality but you could still just buy them in diaspora and travel with them at home and then lastly with your lawn uh pember grass really there as well at least that's what we have requires very little maintenance and it looks really good make sure you avoid things like cows and uh other uh, animals that might interfere with your grass well i hope this was useful and i will see you in the next thank you